What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Project Nexus 2. Where today we're go we're going to be continuing our unarmed escapades, as I like to call it. Um today I want to try out a level oh by the way. With my unarmed skills, I did go ahead and get that XP we lost last episode back. So, you don't have to worry about that. I just went ahead and did the whole level again, and I beat it, and it was all good. It was just that stupid glitch stopped me from uh, getting that XP, because I had to restart. But, today I want to do a different level. Which is Nexus Projects on Madness Mode. I tried it a little bit earlier. And, uh, it seemed to be pretty okay to the point where, like, um... The, the enemies actually spawned and there wasn't much issue with uh, their AI glitching out. And uh, as we get into this Nexus project, so there's something I kind of wanted to talk about. This might seem like really random and out of the blue and completely irrelevant to my channel. But I feel like it's important and needs to be talked about. And it's something to do with YouTube itself. So basically the too long didn't read version of what I'm about to talk about is like essentially a secret pedophile ring within YouTube is, is what I'm talking about. And it's kind of a thing, but by the way this might be an uncomfortable topic so, so if you don't want to hear me talking about this, you can go ahead and skip the video to where I stop talking about it. I'll, I'll provide a timestamp in the description of the video where, where I end up stop talking about it. But, but this thing I wanted to talk about, this pedophile ring, it's been going on for a couple of years now. So there, there's various videos on YouTube that will showcase children. In, like I'm not talking 13 year olds or 14 year olds, I'm talking like 10 year olds, 11 year olds, 8 year olds, like really young children in suggestive position and suggestive clothing like bathing suits yoga pants or something like crazy shit like that fucking like yoga shit and you can find these videos relatively easily let's, let's say you make a completely new fresh uh, google account straight out the oven never watched a video on youtube ever okay so let's say you make that and you go on youtube and you type in um bikini overhaul a guy did a video on this I forget his channel name, but I will link it in the description of this video. But what he did is he started a completely fresh new Google account. And he just typed in Bikini Overhaul into YouTube. And when he did this, uh, of course he got some Bikini Overhaul videos. And only by clicking on just two videos, by just two videos, he was able to find one of these videos of children in suggestive position and just like general like lewd things like their videos of them eating and sucking on popsicles in a suggestive manner and like there are comments on these videos of people like oh yeah I like that or some fucking crazy shit like that but it's really not something to be laughing about because YouTube has done absolutely nothing to try to stop this like this has been going on for years flying totally under YouTube's radar and if you report one of the videos obviously they'll take it down but, but they won't try to hunt more videos like this they will they'll just like take down that one video and they're like thank you for helping make YouTube better or whatever but they won't try to do it for the other videos and there are hundreds of these videos some of them with millions of views with thousands of comments and people will timestamp a moment in the video where, where the child does something suggestive or whatever so they can jerk off to it or whatever fucked up shit they do and it's sickening it's disgusting it's vile and it's been on youtube for like over two years now i think and it's just like why does this even exist like it should not exist at all but but it's still on youtube and it's just like how is this even happening this should not be happening at all it's like it's fucking disgusting in every single way So if you guys find these videos, like, send it to your friends, 
Send it to people who give a shit about it. Send it to news outlets. Like, send in an anom anonymous report to the FBI. It's it, it seriously fucking messed up. And hold on, I heard, heard a noise in my house. Fucking pedophiles are gonna come to kidnap me. It's like, shit, dude. Anyway, sorry about that. Like, send in fucking anonymous FBI reports. Because this shit is fucked up. It's been going on for too long. The fact that it even exists on YouTube is baffling. The fact that they have done nothing about it is absolutely baffling. Like, it, it's such a massive surprise that this has been going on on YouTube for as long as it has. And that they have done nothing to try and stop it. Back in like 2017 with the Elsa Gate thing, that, that's mostly over now. People mostly forgot about it because it's mostly over. This is like 20 times worse than Because there's like an actual real pedophile in YouTube. And like in the comment section of these videos are people linking real child porn, real children. Not not that fake lolly shit. Even though lolly is still considered child porn in my book. But like, you know. That like, no, no lolly comp stuff. No, like, actual child porn involving real children. At least from what the video told me. Of course, I haven't gone to try to find these links. To try to click on them because I don't want the fucking FBI knickknack knocking on my goddamn door. But I, I did make, like... Like, I signed out of YouTube, so, so I wasn't signed in at all. And I, and I went and I found one of the videos, and there are thousands of them. There are, there are so many. Maybe not thousands. It might not to be, be to the degree that I'm describing. But there are a lot of them. Hundreds. With millions of views. Like, over a million people have watched these videos. Who knows how many of them were just innocent children looking for, like, yoga, twister challenge stuff. And who knows how many of them were actual pedophiles looking to get off. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking revolting, in it, and something needs to be done about it. If you go on Reddit right now, r slash popular, it's like the top thing on Reddit right now. Like, r slash videos, it's like literally the top thing on, on Reddit right now. And it's just absolutely disgusting, but anyway. I think I've discussed that enough. We will continue on. So as you can see, that level is only four waves, which is why I really wanted to do it, because it's very quick and it gives you a lot of XP, like 4,000 XP each. So, counter, melee, revelator, enemies you catch cover, nah. Guard. Oh yeah, sure, why not? Give me some of that endurance. Yeah. Like, you can find these videos insanely easily. Like, it's insane. But I'm going to stop talking about it now. So we can move on to the game and the let's play and stuff. But just be, be warned that this is a thing that's happening. Okay, only 20 seconds left on that. I guess I could wait it out. But I'll just be me walking around here for 20 seconds. As you can see, I'm stalling for time because it's only 20 seconds and I'm not going to cut out 20 seconds of video because that's just pointless and the video would take too long to render anyway. Sanford's outfit, nah, we don't need that. None of this stuff is really all that interesting. Nothing really new, except the Soldat mask, but it's not as good as the mask we're wearing right now. So, yeah, we're just gonna do that level again. So yeah, th this level is really good because it's quick it's easy and it gives me a lot of XP. The only problem I have with it is it takes me a while to get to the area that I want to be. Because, especially when I fall down, I get hurt. Come on, almost there. Ugh, okay. Yeah, it just takes me a while to get to this area. This area is good because it's very small and confined. And the enemies normally do spawn inside of this area, so it reduces the risk of enemies not spawning. 
and me just losing a bunch of progress. By the way, th this level has some of my favorite music in the game. I think this one's called Meltdown by Lochnar. I think so. I might be wrong about that. But yeah, I forgot to mention that th this level actually has a side objective. Um, if you've been paying attention, you would have seen these over here these graffiti on the wall if you take pictures of all of these you get some extra cash and you can also deliver pizzas to some of the apartments and you get extra cash for that too I just haven't shown it yet because this level is pretty buggy so far it's been good to me it's kind of random also I mean I know where the last two enemies are I just like to deal with these guys by throwing shuriken at them, they're not really worth trying to punch because they're just, they always like to run away. Yeah, I don't know why this one is in four waves instead of the normal five waves you would get on most other levels, but honestly, I don't know, it's, it's a good place to um, grind XP. The two boys going over here. Hey, that's an AI issue. They will go get stuck behind this ladder for some reason. You know, it's bad luck to walk under a ladder. And these last three jerks out here, oh good, they're all in the woods. <sighs> okay. Alright, final wave, let's do it. All these enemies are like really bad at their job, so they're insanely easy to kill. Kinda weird how in story mode the sheriff actually leads these guys, but uh, we'll get into that when we actually play story mode eventually when early access hits. Oh great, eight enemies left, it's these jerks again. He threw a flashbang at me? What a nerd. Hey, die. I'll fight the last enemies out here. Alright, two enemies left. Where are they? Here they are. And that's that, ladies and gentle folk. I'm gonna take their rifles. I forgot to do that last time. I was too occupied with uh, me talking. Only 50 acrobatic? Really? Lame. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.